Hi everyone. So today we'll talk about the packages tab. So over here on the top, you see create the package, uh, the deployment package. Um, if you're using SCCM or Apple Remote Desktop, you can just click on this link and it will give you some more information how you can deploy that. So there are three tabs. One is Adobe templates. So uh, there are some pre-built templates for Adobe applications. So uh, rather than creating a package, if you just wanted to have uh, a package for After Effects, for example, for Mac operating system, you can just click on that and on the right hand side, it will give you the information what all applications are involved in this and uh, what all options are there. So accordingly, you can also search for uh, the product which you want as a template. So there are these are the templates or else you can just create a package. So the third, third tab is the tools tab. Therein you can see the Creative Cloud packages. So this is an old tool which uh, the admins were using to create the package, but it only supports the application up to 2018, not above that. So uh, for the new versions of Adobe applications after 2018, you have to use the admin console in order to create the package. So the other tools are like Adobe Update Server, set up the licensing toolkit extension manager and remote update manager so they have their own functionalities and if you want to learn more about them uh, so you can just click on learn more and over here uh, it will take you to the help x page wherein you can get some more information on that now if you go to the fourth tab it says preferences so there are some custom preferences so based on your requirement you can just include these preferences like if you want to notify me by the email when creative cloud application updates are available so you will get a notification that some updates are available and you can create a new package and also uh, over here you can see like uh, there is some settings for OST and if you want to install the package in the custom directory this might be that from here now if you go to the packages tab and over here you can just create a package uh, as per your requirement so if, if I click on create package, there will be two options. One is named user license and the shared device license. So based upon your requirement and uh, the user need, you can choose which application or which type of licensing you need. So for example, if we choose named user license, we can just click on next. And there are two options, self-service and managed package. So self-service is like uh, the user has admin rights on the machine and he should be self-sufficient to install any applications as per the requirement. So, but in most of the organizations, uh, admins do not give admin rights to the user to, in order to install the applications by their own. So in that case, you can use manage package. And if you go to next, so you have to choose which uh, platform you need this package for. So we have Mac Intel and Mac Apple Silicon as well. So Windows 64, 32 and Windows ARM. So we choose Windows 64 and over here, you can choose the language, uh, which language you wanted to apply. So if you, uh, if the user is from uh, a different zone, like uh, he's from Sweden and you want the application to be in Swedish, you can just choose Swedish over here and install the package. And over here, it says use OS locale. So whatever uh, language the operating system is installed, then it will pick that language and install the application. So if you want the application to be Swedish, but the operating system is in English, then you can just uncheck that and keep it as Swedish and uh, click on the next option. So we go to next and over here you can see all the applications uh, which are included to be packaged. So these are all the latest version of Adobe applications. And this Creative Cloud desktop application, it is a mandatory component. You cannot exclude that. So there are some options like uh, if you want the older versions or beta versions so over here. You can just click on app versions and uh, over here the only check is the latest version so it shows only the latest version but if you want uh, the older versions as well so you can just click on older versions and it will give you all the older versions of these adobe application which you can package and which has support available as well so you can see it in the illustrator it shows like 2021 then 24 is 2020 and uh, the 23 is 2019. So based on the requirements and the end user needs, you can choose which applications you wanted to include and you can create a package accordingly. So I'll just uncheck old versions and I'll see uh, regular 
the latest versions of these Adobe applications. So for example, the user only needs Photoshop and Premiere Pro. So I choose these two applications and go to next. So over here, it will give me some options uh, if I want to do some plugins. So user can install plugins from uh, the Creative Cloud desktop application as well. But if you want to include some plugins, you can choose from here and those plugins will be included uh, in the package. So I go to next. Over here, there are some options like enable self-service install means the users will have rights to install applications on their own. And uh, so this, this setting will only be applicable for Creative Cloud desktop application. So for example, we have uh, InDesign 16.3 available right now, but maybe in the next couple of months, we will be releasing like 16.4. So for installing 16.4, user will go to the admin and uh, request for the latest update. As an admin, uh, he or she will create a package for 16.4 and install it on the machine. But if this particular options are enabled, enable self-service install and allow non-admin users to update and install apps, then the users will be able to install and update applications on their own. And this is completely for Adobe application, not anything else. So if we are enabling these two options, then any update or any new version of Adobe application users will be self-sufficient to install on their own. So if you do not want your users to install any updates for the applications and you want them to be available on the same version, then you can just check this option, disable auto updates. And this is one more option that is file syncing. If you do not want your users to sync any files on the cloud, so this, if you check this option, then uh, the cloud icon uh, on the top of Creative Cloud where the users can see the storage and all that will be disabled. So a couple of more options, enable browser based login means uh, if, you, if the users are using federated IDs, then if they try to enter their email address, uh, it will redirect them to the browser and that way they can complete their login process. And enable install of beta apps. So this option provides end user uh, to install and update the beta applications. And in the Creative Cloud, there will be a section called uh, beta apps on the left hand side. So they can just click on that and they will see what all beta apps are available uh, for to download and to test. And below like there are some options to enable remote update manager. So if you want to manage updates locally, or you want to host it on your server so that uh, it will not connect to Adobe server. It will just connect to your server. So you can just enable that. And if you want to learn more about that, you can just click on learn more and it will give you the information. And there's one more option, create a folder for extension and include extension manager command line. So you can create a different folder for extensions because I have chosen in the last page, I have chosen one extension called Pantone. So that's why it's checked and grayed out. And there is one more extension called Adobe Asset Link. If you want to include it, you just have to check that. And this extension will be included in the package. And if you want to install the package in a custom directory, you can also use that option. And there's a learn more option as well, if you want to know more about it. Now we go to next option. And over here, I just have to give the name of the package. Like I give this the test. And you can see like I included these two applications, Premiere Pro and Photoshop. And there is one add-on, which I included that is Panton Connect. And over here, you can see uh, the platform is Windows, language is Swedish. And these are all the options which I have set in the last few screens and this will give you the final thing like uh, how this package uh, will be visible for uh, for installing. So once the, uh, all you need to do is the next step is to build a package and once the package is created, you just have to download it and uh, you can install it on the end user machine. Either you can use SCCM or Apple uh, desktop as well to install this package remotely on the end user machine. So this is all about the package tab. Hope uh, it helped.